जय हिंद एवरी वन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप दर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ यूनिट सेकेंड दैट इज बायपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड दैट वाई डू वी कॉल इट एज ट्रांजिस्टर ट्रांजिस्टर मीन्स इफ वी से ट्रांजिस्टर ट्रांजिस्टर मीन्स ट्रांसफर प्लस रेजिस्टर सो बेसिकली when we say transfer transfer plus resistor what does exactly mean by that see transistor is a bipolar junction transistor is a three terminal device so three terminals are it is a three terminal device let us say npn transistor so the three terminals are emitter base and collector so emitter to base terminal is forward biased and collector to base terminal reverse biased so if you look this portion of the transistor so this is equivalent to or similar to pn junction diode in a forward biased condition and we know that when we forward bias our pn our pn junction diode then it offers you low resistance so input resistance is low ideally it is zero but practically forward resistance is of the order of few uh, tens of ohms so its input resistance is low whereas if you if we look at this portion so this is similar to pn junction diode in the reverse bias condition and when you reverse bias your pn junction diode then it offers you very high resistance of the order of mega ohm practically it is ideally it is uh, infinite and practically it is of the order of mega ohms so this is few tens of ohms and this is of the order of mega ohms so transfer of the signal from low resistance to high resistance and that's the that's that's the reason we call it as transistor transfer of signal from low resistance to high resistance now next we by we call it as bipolar junction transistor we call it as bipolar junction transistor because the current conduction takes place in the transistor due to the two types of charge carrier that is majority charge carriers and second is minority charge carriers so if you are having uh, there are the two types of uh, bjt npn and pnp so if we are using npn transistor then majority charge carriers will be electrons and minority charge carrier will be hole and if you are using npn transistor then majority charge carriers will be hole and minority charge carriers will be electrons so this is how we can categorize our type of transistor and that is why we call it as transistor and bipolar junction transistor there are basically as i mentioned earlier that there are two types of transistors npn and pnp and the three terminals which are present that are the emitter base and collector so emitter and pnp transistor consisting of three semiconductor region where a p type of semiconductor material gets sandwiched between two n type of semiconductor material where emitter region is n type 
collector region is n type and base region is p type whereas if you talk about the pnp type of transistor then n type of material gets sandwiched between two p type of material where emitter will be p type collector will be p type and emitter uh, base will be of n type semiconductor material here are here uh, th these are the pictures of various types of transistors uh, some are in the um, uh, plastic material and some are in the in the uh, in the metal and uh, this is the basically heat sink so the whenever we use the power transistor so for the power dissipation purpose we use this metal type of structure for the high current dissipation so comes coming to the construction of the transistor so transistor as a, as we have discussed it is consisting of t, uh, three uh, terminals emitter base and collector where n type of pnp pnp transistor n type of material gets sandwiched between two p type of material the total thickness of the transistor to the base thickness is 1 is to 50 and coming to the doping part so emitter is the most highly doped uh, uh, terminal and collector is the uh, slightly lesser than the emitter terminal and the base is most lightly doped uh, terminal. So basically emitter based terminal is uh, forward bias. So because emitter is P type that is why this positive terminal of the battery is connected to the emitter terminal and negative terminal is connected to the uh, base terminal and collector to base terminal is reverse bias. So, because collector is P type, so that is why in order to make collector terminal reverse bias, we have connected negative terminal of the battery to the collector and positive terminal to the battery and to the base. So, this minus and this plus will make the this terminal on the zero potential or the ground potential. So, this is the symbolic representation of uh, PNP type of transistor. So, this arrow represents the direction of the current in the in the circuit here we can understand that because of this positive terminal it push the electrons holes uh, this positive push holes towards the junction so all the holes are moving towards the junction and this uh, this negative terminal will collect the holes towards the negative terminal of the battery so this is how your uh, charge carrier that is the holes which are the majority charge carriers they are moving in this direction so that, that is basically moving inside the uh, inside the transistor and that is why the direction of the current because we know that the current direction is same to the direction of the holes and that is the reason that your um, this ma uh, this arrow is showing inside the uh, inside the transistor. So, this is your uh, symbolic representation of NPN type of transistor. Whereas, for PNP, uh, sorry, uh, PNP type of the transistor, the direction of the current is in, inward the uh, inward the transistor circuit. Whereas, in case of NPN transistor, again emitter terminal is forward bias. That is why this negative terminal is connected to the N type of material and positive is connected to the base that is P type of material and collector to base terminal should be reverse bias so because of that the collector terminal is connected to the collector is n type and if we have to reverse bias the collector terminal so that is why this positive uh, terminal of the battery is connected to the collector terminal and the negative terminal is connected to the p type of the material so this negative terminal will push the electrons inside the uh, emitter terminal that is towards the towards the junction. So, because electrons are moving inward, so that means the current is moving outward because we know that the direction of the current is similar to the holes, but it is opposite to the electrons. So, th because the current is moving out of the transistor, so that is why arrow is showing here outward and this arrow is representing the emitter current. So, this emitter terminal is represented by arrow and which represents the direction of the current in particular type of the transistor.
so uh, transistor construction as as we have already discussed that the portion of one side of the transistor supplies charges that is the charge carrier it can be electron or holes so majority charge carriers will depend upon the type of the uh, transistor in case of npn transistor the majority charge carrier will be electrons and in case of p type of uh, trans pnp type of transistor majority charge carriers will be holes so emitter is a heavily doped region emitter of npn transistor supplies hole charges to its junction with the base similarly emitter of the npn transistor supplies the free electrons to its junction with the base because in both the cases the subsequent uh, the, the respective uh, charge carriers are majority charge carrier that is electrons and holes collector terminal it is the portion of the other side of the transistor and uh, which collects the charge carrier that is either electrons or holes and the doping level of the collector is it is uh, it is also heavily doped uh, terminal but it is slightly lesser then the emitter terminal and uh, it is uh, much higher uh, doping it has much higher doping as compared to the uh, base terminal a uh, base is the um, uh, the base terminal is the middle portion of the of the pn uh, of, of the transistor and uh, which forms the two pn junction between emitter and collector uh, and it it is termed as the base the base uh, transistor is the most thin uh, base terminal of the transistor is the most thin uh, area and uh, its thickness is almost uh, 1 by 150th of the total thickness of the transistor and uh, it is very lightly doped and the function of the base terminal is to control the flow of the charge carrier so as we have discussed that there are two junctions in the bipolar uh, junction transistor uh, one is the emitter uh, to base junction and another is the collector to base junction so each junction can either be forward bias or can be reverse bias so there are basically three mode of operations the forward active mode the cut off mode and the saturation mode so what we exactly mean by that if we are having a transistor let us say npn transistor and we are having three terminal emitter collector and base so if we forward bias emitter emitter to base terminal and reverse bias collector to base terminal then our transistor will operate in the active region so it it uh, it operate in the active region so here we can see emitter to base junction and collector to base junction when emitter to base junction is forward bias and collector to base junction is reverse bias then transistor operate in the active region if we if we reverse bias emitter to base junction reverse bias and collector to base junction is also reverse bias then transistor operate in the cut off region and if we are forward biasing the emitter to base junction as well as collector to base junction then the transistor operates in the saturation region so when our device operate in the active region it behaves as an amplifier whereas if it operates in between the cut off region and saturation region it work as a switch or a switching device so forward active region is emitter base junction is forward bias and collector base junction is reverse bias here under this condition bjt uses as an amplifier and in analog circuit cut off region is when both the junctions are reverse bias it is called as cut off mode and in this situation there is nearly zero current and transistor behaves as an open circuit while in the saturation region in saturation mode both the junction that is emitter to base term, uh, junction and collector to base junction both junctions are forward bias and large collector current flows with a small 
voltage apply across the junction, across the collector based junction and transistor behaves as a closed switch. So, if your transistor is working between the cutoff region and the saturation region, then it behaves as a switch as we discussed in the uh, previous slide. Now, coming to the operation of the transistor. So, here we have selected the uh, PNP type of the transistor. So, here initially we are assuming that we have not connected any uh, supply in the collector to base terminal and only we are forward biasing the emitter to base terminal. So, here this is a depletion region and because of this positive terminal of the battery, they, this positive terminal will pushing the electron holes towards the junction and here because uh, initially we are having a depletion layer. This is let us say depletion layer which has uncompensated ions. So, when we increase this voltage, these uncompensated ions which cause the barrier potential or the depletion layer, these uncompensated immobile ions gets compensated by the heavy flow of the charge carrier and depletion region will start reducing and the current will start flowing in the circuit. Whereas here in this, so the current which is flowing due to the emitter base junction forward bias are the current which is flowing due to the majority charge carrier because this is NPN transistor. So, here the majority charge carriers are holes. Whereas when you reverse bias your collector to base terminal and let us assume that we are not giving any biasing uh, of the emitter base terminal, then what happened? Here we can see that this negative terminal of the battery will be pushing the electrons and the, the it, it will be it will it will be attracting the uh, basically what it is doing this negative terminal is uh, reverse biasing the p type of material but there are some electrons are also present here we can see and these electrons are the major minority charge carrier though we are reverse biasing the majority charge carrier that is holes but this, this negative terminal is forward biasing these minority charge carrier that is electrons. So, because of that your electrons are moving in this direction and these are the minority charge carrier. So, of course, there are the current is uh, the some amount of the current is also flowing in the circuit that is due to the minority charge carrier that is electrons in this particular NPN type of transistor. So, that is why and we know that the direction of the current is opposite to the direction of the electrons. So, because minority charge carrier electrons are moving in this direction. So, therefore, the current will be flowing in this direction and this is nothing but the minority charge carrier current. So, in all we can say that when we are, uh, when we are biasing both the terminals, both the junctions together that is the emitter based junction and collector based junction then the total amount of the current which is flowing in the circuit is due to the majority charge carrier as well as due to the minority charge carrier. So, total current that is collector current is equal to IC majority plus IC minority. So, here we can see that due to the emitter base junction forward bias depletion region gets reduced and due to the collector based junction reverse bias, the all the majority charge carriers they are get uh, that is uh, get attracted by this negative terminal. So, depletion region will get uh, widen up and also this negative terminal pushing the minority charge carrier inside the uh, towards the junction. So, the current is flowing due to the minority charge carrier. So, there are the two things are happening, the uh, widening of the uh, depletion region as well as the minority, uh, the current due to the minority charge carrier. So, here the total current, emitter current is sum of the two currents that is the collector current and the base current where this collector current is consisting of two components that is IC majority and IC minority. 
ICO represents the uh, the minor current due to the minority charge carrier. It is also termed as the leakage current, or we also call it as reverse saturation current. So basically, this is the current. Why we call it as ICO? It is basically the current flowing in the circuit when your emitter terminal open. So there are because we are having the three terminals in case or in the in the transistor we are having three terminals that is emitter base and collector and transistor is a two port network that means this is our transistor and it is a two port network the input port and the output port so basically what happened that because we are having only three terminals and but we require four terminals in all two at the input side and two at the output side so what is the solution the solution is that if we if we make one terminal common to the input side as well as output side then with the help of three terminal device we can get a two port network having the two input terminals and two output terminals so this is how we get the three types of configurations that is common base common emitter and common collector so common base configuration is the configuration where the base terminal is common at the input as well as at the output side so base is common to both input and output of the transistor so here is the circuit diagram of common base configuration so base, basically here we can see that the input current is emitter current output current is collector current and the voltage that is appearing between the emitter to base is vb e ba uh, the voltage between these two terminals that is vb e and the voltage between collector to base is v c b collector to base voltage so this is the output voltage and vb e is the input voltage and these are the biasing voltages so biasing voltages are uh, what is the purpose of biasing voltage so biasing voltage is used to stabilize the q point in the proper region of operation that means by deciding this these two uh, biasing voltages uh, whether it is forward bias or reverse biasing the emitter to emitter to base and collector to base we can decide we can decide the region of operation of any transistor that whether it will operate in the active region whether it will operate in the uh, cut off region or in the saturation region as we as we discuss if emitter base junction is forward bias collector base junction is reverse bias then it operate in the active region in the active region transistor work as an amplifier and if we forward bias emitter to base junction and collector to base junction both then transistor will uh, operate in the saturation region and if we are reverse biasing both emitter to base uh, junction and collector to base junction then it operates in the cut off region so basically if transistor operate in the cut off region and the saturation region so cut off region means open saturation region means on so it 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 behaves as a switch so uh in the uh, common base configuration the input characteristics and the uh, are shown here in the uh, in the figure here we can see that the input voltage is vbe as we have discussed in the previous slide and our input current is ie whereas output voltage is vcb so if we if we uh, keep this vcb at certain fixed value any any some uh, any fixed value let us say 1 volt 2 volt 10 volt or 20 volt so uh, vcb is basically the, we are keeping this uh, this voltage at some constant value and changing the vbe and we change the how the current is changing so if you look at this section only this is equivalent to pn junction diode in the forward bias condition so when we increase this voltage because of this this vbe is changing so initially when the vbe because 
here is we are having the depletion region and this depletion region in case of silicon it is or barrier potential it is of the order of 0.7 volts in case of silicon so we can say or it is 0.3 volts in case of germanium so this is nothing but the knee voltage so basically knee voltage is the barrier potential voltage so when you apply certain voltage so when we reach up to the until the time this input voltage does not exceed this barrier potential voltage none of the current is flowing in the circuit so almost we can see that zero current is flowing in the circuit and as soon as that voltage is sufficient to overcome that barrier potential your current will start flowing in the circuit but this is not a linear graph this uh, this follows the uh, diode uh, current equation so here we can see that when you are keeping this uh, vcb so basically the current which is flowing is the emitter current and we know that emitter current is nothing but equal to base current plus ic majority current and the minority current the two components are there also we know that VCB is the voltage which is used for the collector to base terminal reverse bias. So, when you are reverse biasing this collector to base terminal, that means the current flowing due to the due to the minority charge carrier which are get forward biased. So, the amount of the current is the leakage current and which is a very small amount of the current. So, here you can see that the, the, the contribution of the total current and the emitter current is base current the collector current due to the majority charge carrier and the collector current due to the minority charge carrier. So, the contribution of this voltage, the current due to this voltage is very, very less and that is the reason we can see that graphs are almost same. There is a very less, uh, less uh, effect of this uh, voltage, this reverse voltage on the input characteristics of the common base configuration. This is coming to the coming to the output characteristics of the transistor uh, of the common base configuration. So, output characteristics uh, we can see the in case of output characteristic it is between the output voltage that is VCB and output current IC and keeping your input current constant. Basically, we can say that the BJT is a current control device. Current control device means the output current is controlled by input current. Here we can see in the, in the characteristic curve that although we are increasing this voltage, but your current gets constant after a certain time and it is not increasing though you are increasing the voltage like from 0 volt to up to 30, 20 volt or even more but your current gets constant. So, the effect on the output current is only due to the input current. If you are changing the input current then only your output current is changing otherwise it gets I mean the, the effect of this uh, voltage is almost negligible on the on the on the output current. So, here we can see that initially uh, when you apply this voltage and initially we are keeping the emitter current 0. Emitter current 0 means suppose we are not applying this voltage and only we are applying this voltage. So, what happened? Because of this voltage your current which is flowing in the circuit is due to the minority charge carrier and that is a very small amount of the current. Here you can see that current and then the current is if I e is 0 then your current is almost negligible that is the minority charge carrier current that is leakage current. But in the next case when we apply the biasing voltage and we adjust our voltage in such a fashion that emitter current gets uh, uh, we fix that emitter current at 1 milliampere. Then the current collector current will be almost equal to IE, not exactly equal to because IE is equal to, uh, IC is equal to basically. So, IC is equal to 
I E minus of I B. So some amount of the uh, current will get consumed as the base current, and the remaining current will be appear as the collector current. So whatever input current we are applying, slightly lesser than that value we get as the output current. So as we keep on increasing this emitter current, we can see our collector current gets keep on increasing. So that is the reason this common base configuration of uh, this. Um, a bipolar junction transistor is also called as the current control device because the output current gets controlled by input uh, input current not the output voltage and the common base configuration is basically uh, used for the voltage amplification and it is used in the high frequency devices because uh, we, uh, where the the frequency of the signal is more then we use the Uh, common base configuration, whereas common emitter uh, configuration used in the low frequency amplification. So, uh, this is all about the uh, common base configuration. In the next uh, forthcoming video, I'll be I'll be talking about the uh, another two types of that uh, configuration that is common emitter and common collector. Thank you. Jai.